This is how you play Graveyard by McCaffrey. Um, now, this is not the entire song. I didn't do the intro because that would have been too hard for me to kind of explain on video. And uh, I can't really play it good myself. And I can't really teach something I don't know how to play. So um, in the description, I'm going to leave tabs to how to play the full song, which should hopefully help you out. So yeah, sorry about that, but let's get into it. Now you'd be playing for the intro. He's playing four chords. You want all the chords to be palm used to put your hand at the bass string. Four fret on the A, seven fret on the E. Wait, four fret on the A, seven fret on the D. You want to play that eight times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Move your index finger down to the fifth fret on the A. Keep your finger pinky on the seventh fret on the D. Play that eight times. Come move up the string, so five on the E, seven on the A, play it eight times, and then four on the E, seven on the A again, eight times. And then you repeat it, so it's and that gets repeated pretty much throughout the whole song. And uh, now, next. The next part, that's pretty much the whole song of Graveyard, to be honest with you. And everything else is just kind of like fills he does, which makes this a hard song to play and to sound right. But um, I'll go and teach you a couple of the fills that I know. First one is five on the E, seven on the E, seven on the A, five on the A, four on the A, and three on the E. But when you do that in the right rhythm, it's... a couple times throughout the song I know like near the beginning and then during the glitchy part he plays it the next fill is nine on the high E nine on the high E twelve on the E nine on the E ten on the B then twelve on the high E You can kind of just play that over, you know, the guitar playing in the background, you know. The... And then the last lead I know play, that one is played mostly during the whole song. That's the most common one. Another way to play it is six on the G, seven on the G, six on the G, seven on the D, on the G and then hammer on to the seven. So it's and you can play that he doesn't play that one as much as the other fill. But that's just another way you can play it. And uh this is where the tutorial stops because that's all of the song I know how to play because that's pretty much it besides for the solo. Like I said, I don't know how to play the solo, but I'll leave. A, I tried, but I just couldn't. I've been also I've been really busy school and all that, but um, I'll leave tabs for this song in the description, and hopefully that can help you out. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a good time playing it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I had to take a big break because this song was really. Long. I really tried to learn the tutorial, I spent like a week on it, but I couldn't. And then school started up again and I got a new job. So yeah, a lot of things just push this song down. But I uh, hope you have a better time learning it than I did. <laughs> uh, but yeah, bye, have a good day.